Hey, it's Steve. Well, here's a quick update on the layout. Uh, I did more or less finish my second structure um, on this uh, little switching layout. In the previous video, I showed this uh, first structure here on the left-hand side. Um, this second structure here is built from sort of a modular uh, Walther's kit. This is, I'm not sure which of the kits this one was in particular. I kind of actually combined three different kits together. But uh, I've gone ahead and more or less wrapped this part up here and got the door installed, the stairwells and handrails and that kind of thing. Did a little bit of ballasting here next to the loading bay. Um, also installed these lights. These are small um, lights that Walther's also provides that kind of go with these kits. For the roof, I basically just did like a gravel roof, uh, added some air conditioning units and vents and that kind of thing. Um, and uh, for the most part, that's pretty much it. I did do some weathering on the structure as well, as you can tell, and added a few details of boxes and things like that next to the loading bay. But, so still a few more details to add, still need to finish up, you know, obviously the ballasting and stuff here along the track in front of the structure, um, do some more fencing along here as well, add the various vehicles and so forth that are going to be associated with the structure, uh, you know, some of the various trucks and stuff. And now this third structure here on the far right hand side, I've also done some work on that added all the doors to the loading bays. And also this uh, first one here I'm making, um, it's gonna be kind of a little shadow box type of thing. I'll actually add uh, some details to the inside of that. So at least part of the structure will show some interior details. I'll have like a forklift and, and different things like that in there, uh, just piles of, of things, uh, maybe some shelving and, or whatever, um, just to kind of make it look like there's actual stuff going on inside that warehouse. Um, not as far along, obviously, on that one as I am on this one. So, so that's a quick look at the second structure. Now, if you stick around, I'll show you the details of how I actually built it. So the structures on this layout are being built from three different uh, Walther's HO scale warehouse kits. I'm kind of combining the parts to build the larger structures on the layout. Okay, so with the wall panels completed, it was time to move on to creating the roof section. And to do that, I simply placed three of the uh, roof panels on a corner of my bench and then uh, lined up the structure along there and used a simple piece of one by two to basically create the diagonal line from one, from one corner of the structure to the other. Uh, and then I basically used that line as a guide to cut out the sections of roof panel that I needed to complete the overall roof section. So after sanding all the sides smooth so I had good joints, I went ahead and glued those up. And then I glued on some of the scrap pieces of plastic to the back side of the roof to strengthen the overall roof structure. Once I tested everything and made sure everything fit good, it was time to spray paint. I basically just used a Rust-Oleum gray paint to go ahead and put a base coat of paint on the roof. I did eventually uh, put a gravel texture on top of the roof. Um, this gray paint was just really to have something at least sort of uniform underneath in case anything showed through. Okay, since the roof was a little bit too short on the larger side here, um, I hadn't realized that the uh, uh, structure here had kind of bowed a little bit when I was uh, kind of you know, measuring everything out. Uh, and so I went ahead and added some strip styrene to fill in the gap. Um, the gap was only really right here, but I went ahead and added it everywhere so everything looked even and kind of matched. But uh, the other thing I did too was added some, uh, a little bit of uh, styrene here in the bottom and some spots to help support that. And then I went ahead and cut a piece of one by two, basically miter the sides and glue that to the sides of the structure. And the wood was sitting on top of these reinforcement plates here on the roof. And so I had to go ahead and add some additional spacers along the edge here to keep everything even so the roof wasn't doing this wiggly thing along the edge. But this really adds a lot of support to the structure. Um, you know, it basically makes the entire thing sort of a nice rigid triangle, which is really strong. And also it really keeps the roof uh, solid so you can push down on it. It doesn't flex at all. And the whole structure is, is really now really strong uh, as a result of just this one piece of wood. Again, it's, it's uh, mired in the corners and so it's really fitting, it's fitting in there and glued in there pretty strongly. And so the whole structure is now a pretty solid rigid triangle. So another thing I'm doing with these buildings is adding some lights to them. I have these Walther Seamaster lights that kind of more or less are designed to go with these structure kits that they have that are you know of the warehouse type. And I went ahead and added two of those lights here to the front end of this structure I'm working on. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one over this loading bay here. I have uh, I think nine, nine lights total. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and, and do a lot of the exterior lighting with those um, on both of these two warehouse buildings that I'm building. And they're pretty simple to install. Really all you have to do is, you know, is drill a hole for the wires to go through and then glue them on, um, which is what I did here. And so I don't have the right size drill bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a small hole and then enlarge that with a knife. Really, it's not so much that the hole needs to be the right round size. It needs to be sort of an oval, sort of rectangular shape because uh, of the way the stem on these lights are shaped. So basically, there's this sort of this uh, rectangular piece that comes out the back um, that the wires are soldered to. Basically, they're soldered to either side of this. It's basically a uh, um, piece of plastic and there's a metal strip on both sides and that's all painted uh, to match everything else, but then the wires are soldered to each side of that. So there's a little knob on the end with solder, and then there's this sort of rectangular bar that the uh, lights are attached to. So this has to all fit, and the, the biggest problem is, is this one's actually not too bad, but some of them, the little solder ball on the end can be kind of big, and so you have to fit that through, and then really you need sort of like a long rectangular slot for that bar to fit in. It doesn't matter so much how, how it looks because this is gonna be glued you know, directly onto the, the building itself. And so you're not really gonna see the hole. Um, and so it can be kind of sloppy and it's gonna be covered up anyway, so it's not really a big deal. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just take this knife here and just kind of carve out a little bit of a bigger hole, really trying to make it a little bit more elongated than anything else because you need sort of the up and down um, height to the hole. I'm going to go ahead and add a little super glue, and then I can go ahead and get this light glued on. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And again, I'll eventually have all these wired up. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of weathering at this point on the structure. Um, I'll, I'll probably come back and do multiple rounds of this at different times. But uh, initially, I'm just going to do uh, a black wash. I have some black paint and some water in here. Uh, black acrylic paint. And so I'm just making a thin wash of black. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, paint that on the structure. I also plan to use some weathering powders and then I'll be sealing everything with dull coat, dull coat eventually. Just applying a light wash. I'm really just trying to get, to get it there to highlight some of the joints and things like that and the concrete wall panels. I'm not gonna do anything on the roof because I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, make this sort of a gravel roof once I get a lot of the other stuff wrapped up here. Just gonna dab a little bit of the extra excess off. I'll go ahead and take a, a dry foam brush and also kind of try to scrub that a bit. I got some of these pan pastels. I'm gonna do kind of a gray one and apply some of that as well and see uh, what that looks like. One other thing I need to do, since the structure does have lighting, is put a hole through here uh, to make sure I can put the wires through and hook them up. Uh, the only thing here to do is just to make sure uh, that there's no wires and anything else in that area, and there is not. So I'm pretty much good to go ahead and drill a hole wherever I want. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get the building glued down to the layout. Get the wires for the structural lights here first. So I'm gonna go ahead here and fill in uh, the area here along the structure as well as do some ballasting along the track. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just add some glue here to the base, just some scenic cement. I have a mixture here of just mostly dirt, a little bit of ballast. And the ballast I'm using is actually not pure ballast. It's actually a mixture of ballast and dirt. 
and earth material. I'm using this Scenic Express fine sifted dirt. Pretty sure the ballast is from Arizona Rock and Mineral. I don't have the original container for it anymore, so I'm not 100% sure. But I basically mixed together the, uh, the earth material with the ballast itself. It kind of provides a little bit of a, of a nicer, sort of dirtier looking ballast. Uh, also, what I like about it is that the, the dirt on there actually kind of helps to weather the track a little bit more too when you brush it on. It kind of provides a nice weathering to the ties without really doing any extra work, which is nice. And again, I'll have to come through here and touch this up a second time, but uh, for now, this will work well. And now again, I'll just kind of, you know, touch up where I need to here once this first part is glued in. And because I do have a really thick layer here of dirt right along the structure itself, I do need to put quite a bit of glue in there. Now this track isn't actually glued down uh, the whole length here. Uh, so once I get some of this glue down, um, I need to go ahead and add some weight to the track because uh, I want to make sure it doesn't shift around while everything is drying. Go ahead and get my weights back on here. Mainly the part here in the middle that's not glued down. I had to remove the glue here and shift the track slightly away from the structure because the uh, box cars were bumping into the structure as uh, they were slid along. So anyway, that's a quick look at structure number two on this 1x6 HO scale switching layout. And that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.